Hi. I'm Manila. My room is such a mess. Drag everywhere. At least it's all pretty drag. Shoes! Hi, my name is Carl with a K, not a C. And I am 28 years old and I live in New York City. And sometimes I go by the name of Manila Luzon. Manila! The name Manila um, is the capital of the Philippines because I'm Filipino. Well, my mother's Filipino, my dad's white, so I'm a mix. The Philippines is the birthplace of the prison thriller video. And famous for the former first lady, Imelda Marcos. Beautiful shoes, they're my babies. One shoe, two shoe, three shoe, four shoe, four thousand eleven shoe. 4,012 show? <laughs> I have a famous boyfriend. He's on TV. You guys might know him by the name Sahara Davenport. Hi! Hey there, it's me, Sahara. Wishing my baby girl, Manila. All the best of luck. And you guys better pick her. I don't want no shit from y'all. I don't think that I'm gonna make it on the show just because Sahara's my boyfriend. Or... Girlfriend? We're in the bathroom. We just took a we took a big dump. No, I don't do that. In oh! I had a tinkle. We a little tinkle. I'm gonna go kiki with some more kids, honey. Okay, I'll we're, be back. we're gonna go back and we're gonna kiki because the bathroom yeah, is yeah, not where the tea yeah. is. Yeah. Wow, but she thinks it is. When I first started drag in Minneapolis, it was a show bar, and I did shows there. And then I decided after I graduated from college that I was going to move to New York and, you know, be an artist. New York City doesn't have, like, that many show bars. We have bars and clubs and, like, one or two drag queens will host a night and do, like, the show all night and do lots of numbers. But they don't have, like, a lot of girls. So there wasn't really any reason for me to get up and drag except for to go out to parties. So I used to go all um, to all the parties like in the Lower East Side where all the club kids would hang out and all the gender fuck people were there. I lived with my grandfather so I'd have to get in drag right right after he'd fall asleep so some days like when there was a party and I was going to be late um, and he'd be up, I would be like, let's go grandpa, we got a show to do but I can't get in drag until you're dead and sleeping. I mean, I, I can't get in drag until you're sleeping. I used to take the subway all the way from the Bronx down to Lower East Side in full drag all by myself. I think I'm kind of brave for doing that. Now that I live in Manhattan, I take cabs. Muhammad, take a left here. What are you doing? Being part of the club kid scene for me when I was starting really influenced how I do drag now. I always did female impersonation, but now when I'm doing my female impersonation, it's got a little twist to it, like my dress will be made out of ramen noodle wrappers as opposed to just regular fabric and beads and rhinestones. So I have a little extra creativity to me and people just live for it. I get a lot of my inspiration from Chinatown. Because it's so cheap and there's so many random things. I'm gonna make her into a hat. I have a full-time job as a graphic designer at a design firm here in Manhattan. So, I don't pay my rent with my drag, but I love doing it so much that, like, I'm thinking about it at work all day long. In fact, I'm secretly sketching my next outfit while on the job. <laughs> I hope my boss doesn't hear this. I mean, it's, like, in my blood, and I'm always dreaming about it, and about it, and it's like my creative outlet, despite the fact that I work in a creative field. Mm, my favorite song to perform, like of all times, 
is Vogue um, by Madonna. When I do a performance, I like the the look of it to follow the song. Not necessarily doing an impersonation of like the singer. Like I I can do a Madonna. I, I don't. I'm Asian, so I don't know how good I look as a, as as Madonna. I just put a gap in my teeth, honey. Madonna. But I actually like prefer performing it better as just like me and like picking up fashionable clothes and and voguing as well as I can. I'm not really good at, at voguing and dipping and twirling and stuff like that because um, that's not my category. My category is face. No makeup. Oh. I didn't say win. Surprisingly enough, it didn't take me very long to get in drag tonight, actually. At 9 o'clock, I decided that I would probably should run and get some cash so I don't have to tromp to the ATM and drag. And then I went and got baby oil so I can take this shit off when I get home. And then I came home, I took a shower, and then got ready. And then it was like 9.58 when I was finished. So, I have no idea why it took so little time. Because I think I, I think I just try to do something uh, interesting. Interest no. Interesting with my eyeball. The thing that I have that you haven't seen on your show yet is that I'm an Asian and I'm taller than 5'2". That's all I gotta say about that. Amen. I'm about to go out and go to a, a, a party. So, I'll see you later. Mm.